Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. The world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms, they leave their signs and symbolism all around us. Even in these Google Doodles, I've been breaking these down for a few years, along with many other things on my channel, but they have encoded messages in them, mostly in just the designs. Now, after the time of Babel in the Bible, when Nimrod tried to build the tower to heaven, God confounded the languages. The spiritual realms and such came up with a different type of language for the hosts. A language of symbolism that could not really be confounded, if you will. Like a circle is a circle. No matter what you call it, whatever different language it is, when it comes to math and geometry, a circle is a circle, a triangle is a triangle. And it's a language of what's called knowledge. Most of what Jesus and the Bible teaches is about wisdom. They are two different things. One of the simplest ways to know of it, know it is, wisdom means you can figure things out that you don't know. Knowledge means that you know those things already. It's not a new experience. You know these things. This, was, this is a language of knowledge and wisdom. First is knowledge, which means you have to know what it means. You have to know what this means even to read it. Well, let's go right here to this one. For those that have been following me, you should be able to break this thing down in two seconds, literally. This woman right here should be able to be connected, if you've been following me, to the Dendera chart. This is a chart that hangs in the Louvre, very famous, Napoleon brought it over. This is the Pallades right here, and this is mapping out the end of the age. It's not an astrological chart. If you look at my channel, I have an extensive breakdown of this, and it shows exactly how the end of the age is coming. This is one part of it right here. There's the woman. And this is the most important part. This is where I have shown the rapture. You see this person sitting right here on these spikes? This is that woman. You should already have broken that thing down by seeing her. You should know that that comet is in there, that this stone is coming, and that this is the day in, of the rapture. You see all the women getting on the eagle, and it's the day of the head wound of the Bible, right there. When this woman is set on, type, on top of these spikes, see how there's a 33 there? This is supposed to mean everyone else. It's flipped over. It means E-E. -E. Rapture, then the wheel of the Great Tribulation. Everyone else loses their head to get into heaven. And that's what this is showing, quickly. And then we have shown this right here in the Denver Airport mural. This is when America falls. This right here is the comet that we're seeing on the front of that page. There's the comet. This woman is about finding a comet. Her name is Maria Mitchell, 195th birthday. She was a female astronomer awarded a medal even for finding a comet back in 1847. She died on June 28, 1889. She was born in Nantucket. Well, so there you go. That's how you read these things. Now that we know these things. On my channel, we I had another channel before this one and it got shut down. I've been doing this for about three and a half or four years. And the first part of the first few years, we had all decided, well, we see all this symbolism everywhere. We hear about the end of the age coming. Then there must be some way to read it all. It's not just triangles and squares out of place. It's all meant to be something. So for years, we have all researched everything we can, breaking down hieroglyphs and everything around, applying the Word of God to everything. And now we read this stuff quickly because we see all the different sources. We have all of the different 
hieroglyphs broken down, just like right here on this one. Now let's quickly show this. You can see the woman here with her telescope. And you can see how this, oops, I get that right underneath there. We'll give all these objects right here. Her telescope even makes a trumpet. This is the trumpet. See how she's sitting on the diamonds? You are the diamonds. It's called taking the jewels to heaven. You are the jewels. This little sign right here on the roof, this matches also for nukes coming. And here is this dog over in the corner like this tree. He represents the dog star Sirius, which can translate us out. So all of this is right there, perfect. Exactly like that. Now over on the far right side, I've shown how this is centered around a dome down near Camp Pendleton and several other domes, meaning like Washington, D.C., but mostly a power plant known as the San Onofre Power Plant. It seems like most of the souls are right underneath there, down near L.A. and San Diego. This pine tree represents your pineal gland, and this is when we are translated out. See the comet going by right then and there? And then we have on here the comet with a city on it as it's flying by and America on fire right at that point in time. In the Bible, this is called when three horns are plucked out. America goes down in flames on the day of the rapture. Now this sign here is equated to Islam a lot also and for the New World Order coming for their Antichrist guy that they want to have rise up. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker has always represented the lukewarm Christians. In the beginning of, of Star Wars, it shows a place where he lived was just like a dome, and it got blown up. He stayed behind, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, the false prophet, changes him into the new Antichrist, if you will. Even his sword was colored green for the power of Islam when he was taking on Darth Vader. See his helmet? Oops, sorry. See these little marks right here for his helmet right there? You see the V on the side of his helmet? This is for the fifth age coming right there. Just like that. Now we can see the woman here with her telescope, which is like the trumpet, and we can see the one thing right there. Let's go back over to that one glyph. See them with the trumpets? This, get it right here. This represents a giant stone that is coming that is supposed to crash right then. This person represents the Catholic Church. See how she has to come and crashes or whatever? This one's ready to leave. He gets back up after this and is called the Little Horn. He's actually holding a little gun in his hand. After this day, the Mark of the Beast starts. This is a pre-tribulation rapture shown all over the earth. And then right here is Jesus, or Michael maybe, inside of this wheel, this disc. And he's going, and the Great Tribulation is going. It's the wheel of the Great Tribulation going right then and there. It's the head wound of the Bible. All of this is perfect. You can watch my large breakdown of this to see all of that. And it's all matching this. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all real. There's the trumpet, the telescope. Just as we saw on the other one also in the United Nations. Let's go look. This hangs in, in the United Nations. It's almost two stories tall. The day the phoenix rises. The day of the rapture. And this person up here with the telescope with the woman right here. Let's see if we can find a better one. There we go. The person with the telescope and the woman ready right here, ready to be taken up with the eagle. 
right here where she is standing, this actually represents a nuke right between her breasts. And her breasts represent that power plant area, as I've shown. Over here, the day we leave, through your pineal gland. This verifies all of my channel again and again. I mean, every single thing I've been showing has been verified. Here is that comet. We don't know when that comet will come. I mean, there's a comet coming now called I-Sun, which is, I mean, it's approaching right now towards the end of the year. That could be that one. Let's continue researching. Well, now do you see how the work that we have done for all of those years by breaking everything down, now we can read this like in a second. We have, we have found all of their different Rosetta stones, if you will. We even see the one with the trumpet and the telescope, all right here, and the diamonds underneath them. And this is like the trees of life being cut down. Or you could even say the arrows going back down into them. Well, we have, we have another source we can go to. So let's go over there and look at another glyph that we have broken down. We have all done our homework. This right here is known as the Karnak from Karnak. Here is that person sitting on the flames. See it right here? And now we go through the disc and we are on the eagle right here. And as I showed before, you see the P right there. We are going on the eagle to heaven. And you can see the P right here as I keep showing. The Pallades. And you're set into there. Boop. Okay, we answered all of that. We see it over and over again. Pre-trib rapture. Verified by the Word of God. Verified all around us. Everything's prepared. Everything's ready. We even know where we're going. How we're getting there. We might have to go through these darn nukes. But it doesn't matter. It's just our fleshly body. Our spirit will be going to heaven. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead. And you'll be saved. Hallelujah. It's all real. And it's all around us. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all and have all our names written in the book of remembrance to take us straight to heaven. Just as we saw, find this one, right here. See him setting her on top of those spikes. And we all get on this eagle. And there's the dog. See the woman as the dog right there? All perfect. The trumpet, her, the spikes, the dog. Almost matching perfectly. The trumpet, her, sitting on the spikes, the dog in the corner, by the eagle ready to go. The head wound of the Bible. Anybody after this has to go to the wheel of the Great Tribulation. If you want to know what's different about this, I'll show you right here. There is a difference. It says so in the Bible too. This is the wheel of the Great Tribulation. The ones that are raptured, and they do show an alien influence, could be at this time. See the little horn of the Bible up here is an alien coming down. But he could go into a host. So that is still speculative because we show him going into hosts many times. This line is the rapture. You go up here and you are free forever. You are a shepherd. You are free. If you go down here and you go through the wheel, I mean, you have to go through the wheel now. You, you have to go through the time of the testing. These people do. And then they get a rod and a throne and a crown. And they have to work with Jesus for 1,000 years. See how the giraffe here has no head? That means they had to lose their head. These people up here still have their head. There is a difference. And this is all in the Bible. It even says that most Christians go here, that only very few Christians actually trusted only Jesus Christ. For anybody about Mary worship, you go here. This is shown and it's in the Bible. I'm not arguing about it anymore. If you pray to Mary, you're going to that wheel. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
please forgive us all. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Hallelujah.